There are more than 29,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus in Maryland. Over 1,400 people have died. Hospitalizations, however, are down from yesterday, and the number of people in the ICU is stable. Hello again, I'm Max McGee. Let's get right to it. WJZ is live at City Hall. Investigator Mike Helgren explains the state is taking action against a nursing home it says was not following state regulations. Mike, what can you tell us? Max, it's a $10,000 a day fine. We'll show you the letter from the state in just a moment. I want to first get to unemployment. More than 9,000 people in Baltimore City alone filed last week. These are new numbers released by the state this morning, and some people tell us that they're still having problems getting their benefits. The state reports a record-breaking week of unemployment claims, which includes newly eligible self-employed gig workers. 109,263 people filed for benefits. The governor insists the new Beacon unemployment website is working. It's, there's been no wait, I think, since last Monday. Um, so the news is a little late catching up. Um, it, it was very slow for about five days. On the health front, Sage Point Senior Living became the first nursing home fined for failures keeping residents safe. A letter WJZ obtained from the state health department says the fines are $10,000 a day for failing to obtain timely lab results, appropriately use personal protective equipment, and separate residents with COVID-19 from those without it. The nursing home where 34 residents have died previously said it was doing all it could to protect them. We worked tirelessly with all county, state, and local officials to make sure that we were following all of the guidelines. There have been at least 244 cases in Maryland's correctional system. State lawmakers held a hearing about the response there this morning. Frontline supervision is doing everything they can to force people to get to work, even in the light of the fact that they might be uh, positive, but they don't know. And I spoke to an advocate for inmates today who tells me she does not believe enough is being done as far as testing. The governor did an announce yesterday that there would be expanded testing for corrections employees. Reporting live at City Hall, Mike Helgren, WJZ.